the next question find the direction in which a straight line must be drawn through the point minus 1 2 so that its point of intersection with the line x plus y is equal to 4 may be at a distance of 3 units from this point find the direction in which a straight line must be drawn through the point minus 1 2 so the point is p minus 1 2 from this point in which direction a straight line must be drawn so that the point of intersection with the line so there is a line x plus y is equal to 4 x plus y is equal to 4 when x is 0 y is 4 that is this point 0 4 and when y is 4 0 x is 4 that is x plus y equal to 4 passing through the point 4 0 and 0 4 that is why the line is like this ok. So, in which direction we can draw a straight line through the point minus 1 2 so that the point of intersection of that line and with this line this x plus y is equal to 4 hmm? the point of intersection may be at a distance of 3 units from this point that is distance between the point of intersection and the point p is 3 units hmm? in such a way that how in which direction we can draw straight line so look the line is x plus y is equal to 4 p is the point minus 1 2 so look either we can draw like this or like this in which direction uh, this just trial only we can draw like that so many lines so which is the answer for that first we can write the equation of line through the point p slope we don't know we can take slope as m so the equation equation of the line through the point P through the point P what is it point P minus 1 2 and having slope M slope is not given and it is not given that line is perpendicular to this x plus y is equal to 4 or parallel it is not given so we can't take that parallel condition or perpendicular condition that also we can't take that is why having slope M variable m is point slope form y minus y0 is equal to slope into x minus x0 or we can write in general form that is m into x mx take y to the other side minus y ok take m into 1 is m take to the side that is minus 2 minus x this is the equation of the line through the point minus 1 2 ok having slope m now we have another line which is the line x plus y is equal to 4 and in the question it is given the point of intersection of these lines is at a distance of 3 unit from the point minus 1 2 so we can find the point of intersection of line 1 and line 2 so we can add 1 plus 2 implies mx plus x is equal to minus 2 minus m plus 4 or m plus 1 into x is equal to 2 minus m. So x is 2 minus m by m plus 1. This is the x coordinate. Now we can find y coordinate. Substitute in second equation. So, when we give in second equation y is equal to 4 minus x that is 4 minus 2 minus m by m plus 1 or 4 m plus 4 minus 2 plus m by m plus 1 or it is 5 m plus 2 by m plus 1 this is y ok. So, this is the point of intersection therefore point of intersection point of intersection is ordered pair 2 minus m by m plus 1 and 2 plus 5 m by m plus 1 
and this point and p the distance between them is given as 3 units so distance can i give this as q we don't know where is this q okay either here or here or there okay so q is the point of intersection then what is given in the question pq is given pq is given as 3 units or pq square when we take the root it is difficult since m is the variable we have to find m so pq square take the square pq square is equal to 9 what is pq square distance between p and q so x2 minus x1 whole square that is 2 minus m by m plus 1 minus minus 1 so it is plus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is equal to 9 now simplify so 2 minus m plus m plus 1 square by m plus 1 whole square plus 2 plus 5 m minus 2 m minus 2 whole square by m plus 1 whole square is equal to 9. Here 2 and 2 cancel m and m cancel. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 square is 9, 9 plus denominator is same. 5m minus 2m is 3m, 3m square is 9m square is equal to 9 into m plus 1 whole square. So, which implies 9 plus 9m square is equal to 9, expand it 9m square plus 2m into 9 that is 18m plus 1 into 9, 9. So, 9, 9 cancel, 9m square, 9m square cancel which implies 18 m is 0 18 is a number not 0 so what is 0 m is 0 ok m is 0 means slope is 0 so what is the equation of the line y minus 2 that is the equation <coughs> therefore y minus 2 is equal to m into x plus 1 that becomes y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2. What is y is equal to 2? y is equal to 2 is a y is equal to 2 is a straight line that is y is equal to 2 is a straight line which is parallel to x axis. The point is minus 1, 2. So, y is equal to 2 is this line q be this. So, y is equal to 2. Okay. Then, if that is slope is equal to 0 means the line is parallel to x axis. Hmm? Then, if m is not defined case, not defined means m is equal to 1 by 0. Hmm? If m is equal to 1 by 0, what happened? If m is equal to 1 by 0, that means not defined then y minus 2 is equal to 1 by 0 of x plus 1 or 0 you have to multiply to the left hand side so that implies x plus 1 is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to constant is a line parallel to y axis that is also possible in this case so here look here from p a straight line it is parallel to x axis here parallel to y axis those two cases possible ok then what about this one p to this line this line huh? but it is a slope of the line x plus y is equal to 4 so y is equal to minus x plus 4 so it is minus 1 then if a line is like this means straight line perpendicular line then you just try whether find the equation of the line already the line equation is here if the slope if they are perpendicular then product is equal to minus 1 find the slope and find the distance that distance cannot be 3 units ok so what we conclude is the question is find the direction in which 
straight line must be drawn from the point minus 1 2 to the line x plus y is equal to 4 such that the distance between the point of intersection and minus 1 2 is 3 units. So, you have to conclude that you can draw straight lines either parallel to x axis or parallel to y axis. No other case is possible. Okay. So, the lines are the question is in which direction. Okay. So, we can write as the line, the straight line either parallel to x axis or parallel to y axis. Okay. The second one, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle has its ends at the points 1, 3 and minus 4, 1. Find the equation of the legs of the triangle. Legs means perpendicular. So, the hypotenuse. So, here A, C. A, C is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. It ends at one point is 1, 3. The other one is minus 4, 1. Then we have to find the equation of the legs. Legs means perpendicular. So, either I can draw perpendicular to this direction. Hmm? So, when we complete, we get a right angle triangle here. It is here 90 degree. Or here also we get a right angle triangle with AC as hypotenuse. So, you have to find the legs means you have to find the equation of BC, AB. Or other cases CD and AD. So, equation of. Look at the figure and you can write. Equation of which one? AB. What is equation of AB? AB is parallel to which axis? Y axis. So, the equation is x is equal to a constant. x is equal to which constant? This x coordinate you have to take. So, x is equal to 1. Now, equation of BC. BC is parallel to x axis. So, the equation is y is equal to constant. So, y, y through which point? y is equal to 1. Now, the other triangle AD and CD. What about AD? AD is parallel to x axis. So, y is equal to constant. y through the point which point? 3. So, y is equal to 3. And equation of CD or DC that is parallel to y axis x is equal to constant so x is through which point x is through minus 4 x is equal to minus 4 next one find the image of the point with respect to the line assuming the line to be a plane mirror find the image of the point P P is the point 3, 8. What is the image of this point P with respect to the line x plus 3y equal to 7. There is a line. Assuming that that line is to be a plane mirror, then the image means P is the point. Its image is here. That is R. Like in quadrants. If the point 1, 2 is here, its image with respect to x axis is here, with respect to y axis is here. Here, I draw the line like this. So, its image is here, R. And we know that this 1, 2 is here. What is the image of image here? It is 1, but it is minus 2. So, this length and this length must be same. So, here... We take the condition as PQ and QR are equal or Q is the midpoint of PR. Okay. So, P is given R A comma B be the image. We have to find R. So, before that we should find what is Q, what are the coordinates of Q and also this is a perpendicular it cannot be a slanting line. It should be a perpendicular line. Okay. So, PQ is perpendicular to the line. If two lines are perpendicular, product of the slopes is equal to minus 1. 
using that we can find the equation of PQ then find the point of intersection so we get Q then using the midpoint formula we can find R ok. So, first we can write but we write let R a comma b be the image of p ok join this p r q is the midpoint of and q be the midpoint of midpoint of PQ. Also this PQ is perpendicular to the line x plus 3 y is equal to 7. So, what is slope of the line? Slope of x plus 3 y is equal to 7 is what is the slope of the line? x plus 3 y is equal to 7 means 3 y is equal to minus x plus 7 or y is equal to minus 1 by 3 x plus 7 by 3. So, what is the slope? It is minus 1 by 3. Therefore, slope of p q m 1 into m 2 is equal to minus 1. So, negative reciprocal. So, p q slope of p q is 3. Now, we can write equation of p q. What is the equation of p q? Equation of PQ is point slope form y minus 8 is equal to slope into x minus x minus 3 or 3x minus y is equal to 1. Okay, that is equation of PQ. Now PQ and the line meet at intersect at Q. We can find the coordinates of Q. So, the equation x plus 3 y is equal to 7 is first equation and 3 x minus y is equal to 1 is the second equation. So, all these two so we get q. So, we can multiply the second equation by 3 9 x minus 3 y is equal to 3 and first equation is x plus 3 y is equal to 7. So, when we add 10 x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 1. When x is 1, what is y? Second equation we can substitute 3 minus y is 1 or y is equal to 2. Therefore, q, q coordinates are 1 and 2. Okay. Q 1 comma 2. Now we apply midpoint formula. Okay. 3 8 1 2 A B. So 3 plus A by 2 is equal to 1. Here I am writing. 3 plus a by 2 is equal to 1. So, 3 plus a is equal to 2 or a is equal to minus 1. Ok. Now, the next point 2 plus sorry 8. 8 plus b by 2 is 2. So, 8 plus b is 4 or b is equal to minus 4. So, what is the image? The 4 image of p minus 1 minus that is the image. It is an important question. Understood all of you? Hmm? First we have to find equation of p q. Equation of p q, p q is perpendicular to the line. So, using that concept write the equation of p q then solve equation of p q and the given line. So, we get point of intersection that is q then p q r q is the midpoint of p r so use midpoint formula from that we get image the next one if the lines are equally inclined to the line find the value of m so how many lines are here 
y is equal to 3x plus 1 that is first line then 2y is equal to x plus 3 that is the second line then we have one more line y is equal to mx plus 4. So 1 and 2 are equally inclined to the line what is the meaning of that equally inclined means angle between them equal that is angle between given that okay angle between 1 and 3 lines 1 and 3 is equal to angle between angle between lines 2 and 3. So angle between 2 lines how we write tan theta is equal to. So slope we need ok. So what is slope of first line? Slope of 1 is 3. Y is equal to mx plus c m is 3. Now slope of second line, slope of line 2. What about slope of line 2? You have to divide by 2. So y is equal to half x plus 3 by 2 or slope is 1 by 2. And slope of the third line is m. Okay. Now we write tan theta for 1 and 2. Sorry, 1 and 3. Okay. Tan theta is modulus m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2 this is the formula which implies tan theta is equal to modulus 1 and 3 you have to check only 1 and 3 slope 3 and m ok so m minus 3 by 1 plus 3 into m now the second one second one means 2 and 3. What is the angle between 2 and 3? Tan theta is equal to there also m minus half by 1 plus half into m. That is which implies tan theta is equal to 2m minus 1 by 2 then 2 plus m by 2 to cancel. So it is 2 plus m. Now it is given in the question these two are equal angle between 1 and 3 and the angle between 2 and 3 equal so tan theta equal so that means the right hand side equal. Therefore what we write modulus is equal to modulus 2m minus 1 by 2 plus m. both sides modulus. We have to uh, we have to write only the expression. If it is in the modulus, we can't solve it. So when we write the expression only without modulus symbol, you have to put plus or minus symbol. That is either in left side or in right side. No need to put both sides. Okay. So here in the right hand side, I am writing plus or minus symbol. That means plus and minus you have to take separately 2m minus 1 by 2 plus m and m minus 3 by 1 plus 3m is equal to minus of 2m minus 1 by 2 plus m. Now we have to simplify and find the value of m. So from the first expression Two m minus one by two plus m. Cross multiply. M minus three into two plus m is equal to two m minus one into one plus three m. M into two is two m plus m square minus six minus three m is equal to two m plus six m square minus one minus three m. So m square minus m minus 6 is equal to 6m square minus m minus 1. Or when we take to the right side, this cancel. So 5m square plus 5 is equal to 0. Which implies 5 into m square plus 1 is 0. 5 cannot be 0, that is m square is equal to minus 1. Is it possible? Square of a number cannot be negative, which is not possible. 
so this case we can't take now take the next case what is the next case m minus 3 by 1 plus 3 m is minus of 2 m minus 1 by 2 plus m cross multiply 2 plus m is equal to minus of 2 m minus 1 into 1 plus 3 m and we multiply 2 m plus m square minus 6 minus 3 m is equal to minus of 2 m plus 6 m square minus 1 minus 3 m or m square minus m minus 6 is equal to minus 6 m square plus m plus 1 just opposite of this expression. So, when we take to this side it becomes 7 m square square root of 100 is 10 so 10 root 2 by 14 we can cancel by 2 so what is m 1 plus or minus 5 root 2 by 7 2 you have to take outside and cancel ok do not cancel 2 and 14 that is um, wrong take 2 outside then cancel so this is the value of m the question is find the value of m If the sum of the perpendicular distances of a variable point from the lines is always 10, show that P must move on a line. The point is given as x, y. The sum of perpendicular distance, the distance of a point from a line, that result you have to apply. Okay. So, distance, distance of the point P from the line the line is in the general form line x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 is modulus for this x and y we have to give the point but the point is also given as x comma y so you can write just x plus y minus 5 by root of coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square that is x plus y minus 5 by root 2 modulus of y. The same way what is the distance of the point from the second line? Distance of the point P from the line, the line which is the second line 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 is modulus here also x x itself y also y itself by root of 3 square plus minus 2 square so 9 plus 4 is 13 so root of 13 now what is given the sum of these distances is always 10 so you have to add that is modulus x plus y minus 5 by root 2 plus 3x minus 2y plus 7 by root 13 is equal to 10. Okay. This x, y that is the point P is it represent equation of a line. What is the equation of a line? Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Okay ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. If p is the point x1, y1 and in the place of x, if it is ax1 plus by1 plus c is equal to 0, then we can say that this p is on this line. Isn't it? p is on this line. Like that, this, when we check this, 
there is x term, y term and constant term, no need to simplify, there is x term, y term, constant term. So, it represents the general equation of a line and in that line, in that equation, the point P, the coordinates x comma y that is also the, that means P on that line, that is P, what is the question? Show that P must move on a line, that is P is on that line, that is enough. So, just we can conclude this represent, which represents a straight line, okay, and that P is on this line. So, P moves on that line, you can conclude.